lively chapter. Um, fairly packed at this hour. <laughs> plenty of plenty of patrons. Some gambling in in uh, a couple of the corners, although it's fairly subdued. Uh, and especially they have, they have a lookout watching for any of the Illuminate Guard who tend to frown on gambling. I definitely want to be involved in that. <laughs> I'm gonna go over with fear. Um, oh, name it I, 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 I disapprove, but I'm gonna watch from a distance to make sure they don't cause any trouble because I I'm trying to look out for them. I so, too would join choose. in on the gambling. I, I disapprove of you guys gambling, guys. Are you really gonna do that right now? What better way to celebrate? Says Goody Two Shoes over there. Don't cause any trouble, guys. Okay. Last time you guys caused trouble, like it brought a little bit too much attention. Okay. I'm gonna make a reassuring whistle sound over towards an, uh, over towards Anton. There, if if you would what like to think? join the gambling, they are playing. Um, they're playing a game called um, Roses. It's uh, uses five six sided die, and it's. Um, Similar to Yahtzee. <laughs> they do not. They yell roses, dude. <laughs> roses. It's almost like a combination of Yahtzee and poker. Oh. You roll your dice in secret and then bet on the uh, on the roll. Okay. Yeah, I know how this is played. <laughs> <laughs> You're pouting. You don't. You don't gamble at all. Uh, right now I just want to watch. <clears throat> what what dice do I roll to gamble? Uh, five d six. Hey, he has to get in on it first, doesn't he? <laughs> if if you want to, you can you can uh, walk over. There's uh four four others playing the game, and uh, there's uh, an elf a dwarf. And two humans. Actually, no, I can't gamble. I don't got any money. <laughs> Did, you spend, Did you spend it all? Jesus. Um, I have money, and I would like to gamble. Wait, do we have starting gold? Yeah. Five. It's. Uh, it's. I actually wanted to ask about that, dude. You want? I, I, I just thought we started with our starting equipment, and if it said we had gold, we had gold. Uh, I'll I'll run up to where your wealth is. Uh, what are you playing again? The wizard. Uh, four d four times ten. All right. Yeah, you guys all should have um the starting equipment, the standard um, gold, whatever that usually adds up to be like twenty, um, or something around there. You got a hundred gold. Roll on the chart. All right, I can gamble and now. You could have used that 100 gold to get any equipment that you wanted to while you were making your character. Right. No, it's fine. I got all the I wanted wizard, like, I got all the equipment. Uh, identify. That would be your 100 gold for it. <laughs> so what's the minimum uh minimum amount that we can bet? Uh, minimum buy-in would be it starts at really it starts at a gold piece, but it'll go around. I'm going to You want to sit down? Yes. Yeah. Right. Have to sit down. The uh, the dwarf looks displeased by you showing up, and uh, you can tell from his his accent that uh, he's clearly from the northern part of Shavar. Um, but he seems to you seem to have coin, and so he'll he'll endure it. Uh, the others are happy to have you join, although they look kind of nervously over at the uh, the two tieflings in the in the back of the room. Oh, okay. crack a big smile. Half dragons are normal, dude. They're scared about me too. <laughs> right, hey, Steamy, you get some weird glances from everyone in the in the bar, but it's kind of like, um, kind of like if you if someone brought a um, one of those robots, um, the the old fashioned voice command robots that you used to be able to get as like a gift for little kids. Oh. Like that's kind of cute, but what the every, heck is it? Every time I get a weird look, I want to I want to I want to look straight back at them, like tilt my head and do a slight wave. Like kind of like a queen <laughs> wave, well, but instead of instead of my wrist rotating with my hand, it's just the hand rotating. <laughs> okay. You start to get less and less looks. 
Good. Uh, Fear, you joined the table as well. No, Ben's gone. Yeah. DM's gone. Free rule. Blow up the place. Grab some headphones. Then. Yeah. Oh, so is this the part where we become murder hobos? Uh, oh, yeah. Hey, DM. I hope you didn't hear any of that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so you sit down. The everyone throws in a gold piece. You're in a fairly well-off portion of town, so everyone throws in one gold piece. I throw in ten. Throw in ten. Well, you haven't you haven't rolled yet. Um, so make well, your. I'm allowed to bet what I want, though. It's a starting bet, though. One gold piece. So this is kind of like the uh, the ante. <laughs> you roll and then you bet. I've never played poker, so this is a poker. <laughs> I, I'd, li- I'd like to go dice all in. poker, though. Right. It's roses. The, the the name of the game comes from the dice itself. They're not engraved with pips. They're engraved with symbols. The rose being the, the high symbol. Okay. Um, so if you yeah, if you'd like to roll, go ahead. Um, we're looking five v six. And the command is slash gm roll. Slash roll, not slash gm roll. Only slash the gm roll does gm. Slash roll shows it to everyone, though. Yeah. But well, it's just got to be only, you're only betting against. You're only betting against the. Um... Wait, well, Fear is playing as well, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're, oh, you're playing too? Okay. Uh, is he getting any weird looks from the players? As Very much. They're, actually, when he sits down, the um, one of the humans gets up and gets up and leaves. They're still, they're still leaving three of them. Both of the humans left? One. So you oh. have you have a human, a dwarf, and an elf now. And the, oh, uh, as matter, he gets I, up and leaves, I'd just like to say probably best not to lose all your money, anyways. <laughs> see again. Are we just under his breath for everyone to see? Um, if you guys you guys are playing the same game, so you can, I guess, GM roll it. Um, How do you do that? Slash GM, GM roll. roll. There's space. Okay, cool. That means no, I can no, no space. Too. Good. Yeah. Um, and then just five B six, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah, and I, I love this country. Uh, ye olde, <laughs> this ye olde acoustic guitar and harmonica. Uh, while the players are rolling, I'd like to walk behind uh, the other human that was out at the table, like, and just like I see, see as if I'm walking past, but I'm gonna see if I can see his dice. The one who left, or the you no, 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 the, the, one, the other one who's still playing. This is the one who's still playing. Okay, so give me a uh, stealth check. Shit. <laughs> I have fucking horrible stealth, and I have it at disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, there we 11. go. Oh. 11. The first roll, though, the first roll is a crit. Oh, you're yeah. a disadvantage. No, no, I'm a disadvantage. You are rolling a disadvantage. Okay. Um, okay. I don't have um, shoelaces. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Do I get? Can I see my dice? Or, well, yeah, you rolled them, <laughs> so I know what the number is. Th- think of it as you're yes. rolling your dice in a cup, and then you flip the cup over, and you just look under the cup. Okay. Yep. God, this is a lively place as well. Jesus, you're in a big uh, city. The, I was, I, I forget who was there before, but the temple at the heart of the city, it, that's built around, is about four city blocks big. Damn it. How common are animals coming into the tavern? Huh? How common is uh, like hyenas coming into a tavern anyway? <laughs> <laughs> a hyena would not be so much. Um, is, it just sl- <laughs> is it just slash GM message to send a message to the GM? Uh, I believe it's, uh, where is it? It's uh, slash, slash name and then whisper. I mean, slash W, name and then the message. So whoever's name is in the chat. 
Who's playing right now? Both Fear and Chris? No, Chris uh, is trying to run. No. I'm, I'm playing right now. Send uh, one to the oh, DM. Okay. So do I just type in his name? There's also dub, uh, whisper GM, like you don't have to put in B. Oh, okay. Uh, slash W space GM space message. Okay. I'm just reading the chat log up ahead. That didn't work. Oh yeah, it did. I don't see it, so it did work. Cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> So, oh, so Ben, how did my how did my stealth thing go? Uh, Steamy, you um, you don't know. Um, I didn't see you it. You can you can. Um, they they didn't. You didn't see them react, but that doesn't mean they didn't see you. Well, um, I know, move I, behind I, them. I, well, I'm I'm not I'm not moving behind them. I'm doing a walk by. Like I'm I'm just gonna okay. turn my head over and see if I can see what his his stuff was. Okay. Um. <laughs> You can see here. You will. I did get eleven. That was yeah. Um, I need to roll. Actually, I'm just gonna roll this. I oh, know I did roll it already. <laughs> okay. Also, do I have um, to roll a perception to see if I if yes. I saw it? Yes, you do. It's up to you first. Yep. Oh, so okay. Give me a perception. That one you can do open. Um. Eleven. <laughs> okay. Um. You you see one of the guys has he's got a pair of ones, but that's uh that's it. That's all I saw from the human? Yeah, you just you just saw that the dwarf has a pair of ones. All right. And that's then no, no, I was I was just I was just looking by, uh, at the human's oh. dice. Oh, you're looking at the human's dice. Yeah, um, I was just walking by the human and seeing if I could see his dice. Okay. Then um you missed the human and you accidentally saw, saw the dwarf. Oh. Um right. <laughs> Did they, did they actually let me in? If they're looking for the Illuminate watch, did they actually let me in? Who was that? Cleric. Oh, uh, Anton. Yeah, they, they let you in. Um, the, the Illuminate watch is just very, they're very distinct. Um, well, I just wanted to make sure that but, they weren't like trying to keep me out as well. Right. Now, the clerics, I know I'm not part of <laughs> Clerics are, are viewed very... Yes. Okay. Ben, you muted yourself. Yep. You're yeah, muted, ben, bro. Yeah. How's that? Yep. There you so go. say that phrase again. Uh, the Illuminate Watch are viewed as zealots, so the clerics are viewed much differently. You don't draw a ton of attention. Um, some people are actually pleased to see you and, and happy to have you around. Some of the shadier characters aren't so much. Uh, the ones gambling, particularly, you, you know, I wouldn't recommend joining in the, the gambling, but other than that... Well, I recommend if you're not to join in either, so... Wait, are you calling me shady? <laughs> Which actually, I want maybe. I don't. I don't know. I mean, after Fear does his first roll, because I don't want to interrupt him while he's in the middle of the game entirely. But I do want to come up before he does the next round. Is like, are you sure you, we want to be doing this? Like, he hasn't. We haven't actually, completed probably. a round yet. Okay. Well, I would well, like I'd to do a raise. <laughs> yes. Okay. So. Um, well, they're gonna go around. The, the dwarf raises one gold. The elf raises. Um, the, the elf matches. That brings it to um, Aether. I raise my bed up to ten. Fuck. Okay. So that brings it to the dwarf, or the, excuse me, the human. We have the elf and dwarf. So that brings it to the human. Um, he he folds. Uh-huh. And you still have the, and then uh, that that brings to fear. I'll call. Okay, so fear is at eleven. Um, the dwarf and human will call as well, so that means everybody's got eleven in the pot when it comes back to aether. I'll raise it to fifteen. Ooh. Okay. Um, that's uh, that's fear. 
You're up. Can I call? You roll fear. Fear calls. Okay. Um, One of the most fun ways to make money. The first night we're broke. <laughs> or that. Or that. So are they still on their same dice rolls? Like they haven't re-rolled again? They're just... No, yeah, we're right. still on the All same right. roll. All right. right. So then... So then, behind the human and the dwarf's back, uh, so they so they can't see me, correct? No, no. Oh, well, yeah. There's the human. There was a human, a dwarf, and an elf. Humans yeah. out. Dwarf and the elf are still in. Yeah. So how? So how? Um, can I be in a position where I'm behind uh, the, all three of them, like behind the human, the dwarf, and the elf? Or are they all sitting in different positions on the table? We see it's um, a very big you can't table. be behind all of them. It goes uh, the dwarf, the el- or excuse me, the um, yeah, the dwarf, the elf, the small table, and it's the dwarf, the elf, um, fear or aether, and then fear. The uh, okay. Um, is there a way I can do? Uh, oh wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I can just do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna do thieves can't to fear and say and be like dwarf one dot um, pair ones. <laughs> Okay. I, I, uh, uh, I just want to see if he's doing this. So I can just approve him and talk to him later. Oh, wait, wait. I, hold on. I, I have one. a quick question. Yeah. Anton, you don't know what I'm doing. Do All right. So, huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. So, is, so is you see game, nothing, Anton. <laughs> is this game played just like poker where if we have more matches that's better or is it played where just the higher roll wins it's it's poker hands um and at the end of the betting you re-roll you can choose um dice to re-roll hmm. everybody bets then you re- then you re-roll any dice you want to and then uh then you show <laughs> nobody did that <laughs> Personally, I'm no, in, no, no. I'm in I walk up right to the table. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. fear might know it because he's a gambler. It might be a common yeah. game. I've played before. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I was in quite a few times. This is a this is very similar to an actual game of dice that exists that I've really played before. Right. Yeah, but you are not your character. No, but that I'm assuming that my character would also have the same knowledge, being as this yeah, is kind I get of it, my I get it. environment. Yeah, I, I I agree. How much does the ale cost, by the way? Oh, the ale costs two silver. Okay, I'm on my second round. <laughs> Fair enough. Jesus. So we're at we're at sixteen gold in the pot total, right? Each. Each, yeah. Not total. Yeah. Are we done betting? Yep. Cool. All right. <laughs> All right. Pick how many dice you want to re-roll. Send them to me. None. I'm good with what I got. Okay. Uh, ben, what time of day is it right now? It is. Uh, it's late afternoon, uh, oh. about three ish. I was just making, I was just, I was just I'm getting drunk in the afternoon. <laughs> Good day, drunk. If you want to re-roll? Roll. Oh, that's the other thing is if you want to re-roll them, you roll them in the open. Oh, uh, roll them in the open. Oh, so pe- so people can see what. Yeah. You so choose. Aether Aether rolled a three. Um, we one don't of the guys really switched out. One of the guys, I should have done, not GM rolled this, but uh, one of the guys rolled a six and a four. And the other is rolling now. Oh, you re rolled three of them. Wow. Which means he had nothing good. Oh, is he saying winch food or winch food? <laughs> yeah, do you want I'd like your finest winch? Or do you want to tell us what is this winch food? I think the food. Food. Oh, I think the ma- I think the waitress knows him. <laughs> He's a cleric of Pelor. He gets automatic. Everybody likes him at least. Um, 
They should refer to him as Sonny. How, how, how much right. is it? Do I know? Do I know how much it is automatically, or does she need to tell me? For oh, for the meal, the food, yeah. Uh, two, another two silver. Do I do I do I know, or does she have to oh. tell me? No, you've been here. Do I know. Before. You've been here. Uh, two silver. I yeah. give her five. Okay. No, 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 no. It's not. It's not a big spin or anything. It's just being charitable. Um. Let's try. Right, so, yeah. Let's. Uh, Oh, I do. I do. So the uh, the the dwarf, the, the dwarf <laughs> shows his roll first, and um, he has a pair of sixes and a pa- uh, and three fives. He's got a full house. <gasps> um, the elf has a roll of four and a one with on his re-roll. Is that what I said? Where did it go? A four and a six. The elf so has uh, has three sixes. Three's the kind. And uh, that leaves you guys. What about the horse we're playing? I show my hand. Who is that, Aether? Yes. What do you have? I haven't done the math. Four of a kind. Four of a kind. Oh. Okay. Uh, Fives, right? Yeah, okay. I'll show my hand. It's five, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You didn't. <laughs> and that's about the that's about the exact same reaction that you get from uh, from the uh, the two. The dwarf is in complete outrage and grabs his coin and storms off. The elf, gonna... be, the elf begrudgingly passes his along and looks at you very suspiciously. Um, I'll also take Aether's 16 gold. Uh, 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 mine. Uh, I'll let the dwarf go. I don't feel like causing the scene. <clears throat> how did you cheat so proficiently? At about this time... I rolled that way. <laughs> I'm going gonna, time... gonna to be clapping my hands like crazy. The, the people that you were you were expecting walk in the door, and uh, for half of you, you see the the familiar face of. Um, let me find his name here. For half of you, you see the familiar face of uh, of Elik. He's the priest of uh, Bahamut, <gasps> and the others of you see. Uh, Delwyn Yoris walk in. A cleric of Pelor. Um, of course, naturally, Anton recognizes him immediately, having worked for him for a long time. Uh, the two of them immediately greet each other, seem in, in uh, very friendly terms, and walk and call the respective two groups of you over. Uh, you immediately notice that uh, while, while Delwyn certainly seems to be from Tarwin, um, Elik has, uh, has a an accent, uh, you're not sure exactly where it's from, but uh, did, did the mic, mic cut out again? No? Nope. Okay. Um, you're not sure where exactly his accent's from, but uh, it's, you don't think it's... Ah. Alec. Um... I am the great Conholio. And Delwyn Yoris, who you know very well. Well, oh, his last name is Bahamut? Jesus. No, no, no. He's just from it's his affiliation. Damn it. Uh, that is so Alan. cool. And Delwyn Yoris. Really? Is Delwyn. Hey, Lord. Um, all right. And Al, you should, be, you should be good for your question. Um... Yep. All right. That one. They, they, they call you over. Ah, good to see you as well, Anton. Appreciate you taking the time to come here. I appreciate the invitation. Um, what are we doing here today, if you don't mind me asking so abruptly? Well, uh, there is a, there's a town, to give you the, the long and short of it, there is a town 
off to the the west of um i'm not sure if you're familiar with it actually forgive, forgive, uh, me, forgive me delwyn forgive me yes uh, my friends um meet um i don't know if you've met them before um iris and fear and then this this here is um a strange contraption but we we we've endearingly call him steve i'm uh, going to but, do a wave and a happy whistle ah well met well met um Appreciate uh, you bringing like bringing reinforcements. To, um, if you don't mind, I don't. I've never met these individuals before. Um, yes. Yeah, so, so the, the reason that oh. uh, that uh, brother Alec and I called you here today is because, uh, to put it very simply, there is a a, a transport a, a carriage of important holy supplies, holy water, holy oil, things like that that travels around the. The, the surrounding towns and to, to lend aid where it can. And we've heard that uh, it may be in danger on its return trip to Tarwin. We're not sure exactly what from, but uh, Brother Alec was was kind enough to, to call a few of his contacts to help us with this, um, particularly uh, Aether here, who is who's from near the town of uh, of Bristol, where this Greetings. Uh, carriage is coming from. Vani is uh, is a an experienced tracker, and hopefully will help you find the the whereabouts in, in case you arrive too late. Um, we also have uh, Kriv here, who is traveling from uh, from Ada on his way. Uh, to Master Hyman has offered to to lend aid. Should you should you accept this quest? Uh, I would like Greetings. to drain my tankard of ale in one gulp, burp very loudly, slam it on the table, and go. Well, how much are we getting paid? Well, no, um, no, no, brother Delwyn. We do not require payment, but it would be appreciated for some of our companions. But we we appreciate doing a good deed as it is. But any any assistance with monetary gain it simply helps us on our mission. Well, Fear. for for, for, for simply it. escorting, obviously, you know, the, the church has many many duties to attend to that, that require funding. Um, but for the safe return of these uh, supplies, and more importantly. Um, the, the lives of those involved in case they do be in danger. Um, we have we've scraped together a small sum of, of roughly a thousand gold for, for you to split between the uh, the group of you. Now, uh, brother, um, out, out of curiosity, have the the anointments been lost or are we just in fear of their safety yes we're in fear for their safety it's typically has traveled around with no incident but on the previous leg of its uh of its journey um they reported back um via via messenger bird that they'd been they felt like they had been followed and uh and tracked especially when they were in the town and so uh we are worried about their the return trip as as uh it's not too far. It's it's fairly fairly well out of town, but not too far from Shavar. And they, wait, so they're current. They they've just left Bristol today. Is is our understanding? And they're en route to Tarwin. They're en route here. Did our, did our brothers um, express any um, knowledge of who may have been noticing them or following them? What may have put them on edge? They out of curiosity, did they notice anything? They didn't have enough. Um, the message was brief. It was only what would be carried by a bird, uh, but they just said that they they fear they're being followed. They fear they're being stalked, and and they their carriage is is sturdy. It's uh it's designed to be able to resist uh, attack in case. That being said, they don't have much of a way of defending themselves against an organized attack. Do I do I or anybody else in the party know where Ristol is? Yeah, so Aether is from near Ristol. It's um, about three days' journey west of Tarwin uh, by horse or hyena. Um, <laughs> and well, uh, uh, brother, if if this is yes. so, it's an urgent thing. Where they're they're in trouble. 
We must leave immediately. I was hoping you'd be able to. Um, it's unfortunately we don't have the um, we aren't able to, to scrape up some horses at, at this this short notice. Uh, I do have a cart that can take you. It'll take a little bit longer, um, but hopefully it should it should get there unless you unless you prefer to travel on foot. Any assistance would be much appreciated. Does anybody else have any information or questions they wish to provide to the brothers? Do we get paid up front or? or <coughs> fear. Uh, the, I could. Uh, we we could certainly provide half of the um, half of the thousand five hundred of. Uh, <coughs> I came prepared with five hundred of it today, and the, the rest we can provide on return. Done one. In no way is that necessary, but. As Fear said, it's it's very appreciated if you were able to well, provide that. I was just thinking no that maybe we might be able to acquire ourselves some horses with 500 gold. Certainly, certainly. Also, did anyone notice what was following the caravan? Um, as far as the message that we got, they didn't have any specifics. Um. They just said that someone or something seemed to be following them, and that's all. That's all they were able to. Uh, here's the, the he hands you the note that came with the bird, and it says, uh, "And who? Yeah, let me type this out here. <laughs> Who's he handing it to? He's gonna hand it to um, this is it's Delwyn, so he's gonna hand it to Anton. Okay. Typing this out. And fear, I, fear. I'm assuming I'm sitting right next to you and Chris, so mm -hmm. I kind of like lean over and show you. No. I'm going to lean over the top as, of both of you and see it. As I read it aloud, but I'm kind of leaning over to show it to fear. <coughs> and as I read, I look up at the uh, the other members of the party, uh, Ether and Vanny and Riv. I'm kind of looking at as acknowledging that they're actually paying attention to what I'm saying. It's, it, it reads, uh, we suspect we are being followed and fear for our safety. Please send an escort. We cannot remain in Ristal for longer than another day safely. Oh dear. That does seem quite urgent. More, I mean, it could be simply misguided fear, but regardless, uh, if it's such a serious cargo, we should lend aid regardless. <laughs> yes, please. Let's go. Um, out of curiosity, brother, um, I'm sure my party could have handled this. Um, why did we need these other individuals here? Well, I mean, I don't, uh, don't get me wrong. I, I believe this to be a holy mission, and I take your guidance fully. But I was just curious why we needed so much man. I would like to take that piece of parchment out of who had it. Uh, I had it. The cleric. I was showing it to you. Well, so, I'm gonna take it out of your hands. Oh, like a rip, like rip it out of his hands, or just take? No, it? No, like how gonna, how violently? Uh, as violently <laughs> as is necessary. How how tight are you holding on to the paper? <laughs> I'm not holding on to tightly. I'm just curious if you're trying to rip it from me. Like, I no, mean, I'm just gonna like reach it. over and take it, okay. and if you let okay. go of it easily, then it comes. Yeah, out. I let it, I like let I let it go. Curious why you're. I will be I, as, I will be as aggressive as I need to. No, I I let it go, but I'm kind of curious why. <laughs> so, um, as as for this other party, um, the uh, Aether, the, the, the wizard here, is is uh, from near Ristol, and hopefully, will provide some local knowledge. Uh, Vani and uh, and Kyrus are are experienced trackers, and so hopefully, they should be able to provide some some aid as well. And um, Kriv. Well, he's uh, he's offered his services, and uh, just in case, I I do fear the uh, this particular carriage um, has been uh, they they have been so devout in their services of uh, the church, both both for Pelor and for Bahamut, that um, I fear the 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 risk of their lives, uh, the threat of the, on their lives, and want to make sure that well when Crib was in town and offered to to assist. This is uh, this is an easy way. I, I appreciate your guidance, brother. Yours and for, 
to all of you for assisting us in this endeavor. I appreciate it greatly. Your services are invaluable. Is there anything else from us, or I, I assume you'd like to you'd like to set out uh, as quickly as possible? I, 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 I am very eager to make this journey. Um, Alec also uh, turns to you. I do thank you for your help. We appreciate it a lot. Um, thank you for lending your aid, and uh, best of luck to you. Do you have any other guidance for us before we set on our way? Be careful if you take as, horses. As if you take horses, uh, do not grow too attached. If it is dangerous, they may they may not make it. But try and arrive in haste. You said you uh, provided us with a cart or a carriage, I believe. We we have uh, we can we can find farmers who have a cart headed that direction. It won't be the most comfortable, but it's the best we can do. Still need horses to pull the cart. Is is, is it drawn or is it like, like? They will have horses and or oxen to to draw their cart themselves, but uh, it will be a cart with hay in the back. It's not not the not the best again, but it's all we have on short notice. I appreciate. It. I think we can hoof it, man. And I I stand up. If I didn't already, yeah, I stand up, and I'm like, well, shall we? I'm gonna I'm gonna yep. nod in agreement. <clears throat> Very well, brother. Yours, please lead the way. They take you outside um, and take you to the gates. They quickly hail a very surprised and um, but accommodating farmer who is happy to let you ride in the uh, in the back of the cart and receives a blessing from Pelor. Um, I I help people up into the cart. Whoever's getting into the cart, I don't know how many can carry, but I'm helping people into it. Whoever's uh, getting I'm not getting in. Um, Just swinging um, on top of my hyena. <laughs> uh, All right. Wait, you can ride. What? <laughs> you fucking have a horse? <laughs> um, let's uh, let's describe. Why don't, why don't you guys? I think most of you have described your characters, but um, yeah, how, we should probably look. do that. Go ahead and um, describe yourselves. I mean, we, we went around and did, uh, did classes and race before, but if you have anything else you'd like to add. I'm a brass steam golem, and I my head uh, kind of has like a, a conchador helmet, and I have gears that are, uh, are in my shoulders that are rotating, at, like con constantly. Also on my back, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of, it's, it's not a backpack, but it's kind of like an engine of steam that's always going. So there's always like a chuck, 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 chuck. <laughs> yep. Uh, and I have a little whistle that steam comes out of that I use to communicate. Uh, Ether? Beer is like, Roughly 5'10", looks to be in his early 20s. Uh, his jet black hair, uh, head to toe, like jet black skin, and then coal black eyes and uh, large black horns coming out of the top of his forehead. <clears throat> also, I'd like and to mention... Oh, sorry, you first. He's uh, pretty decently well-armed. All right, and as I was about to just about to say at the very end, uh, I am eight feet tall and roughly five hundred pounds. Just in case you guys were wondering my stature, I'm, I said I wasn't. <laughs> no, I ride. Him. This, that's how this works. I ride him. Yep, he, fear is getting on my shoulders. Um, does that work with encumbrance? Uh, fear, how heavy are you? Uh, I, I weigh here. 147 pounds plus 63 pounds of gear. So, so 180. No, that'd be 200. And, I think you could carry me, but not him. That'd be 210 pounds total. All right. Well, then I'm going to put my great sword, my ram into the not not an, not an animal. <laughs> I'm going to put my ram in the cart, my great sword. And I'm going to put my shield in the cart, and I should be able to carry him. <laughs> what? Um... <laughs> this is a portable ram. Uh, yeah, a portable ram. It's thirty-five. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. As, as, as that. 
Uh, I may, I may or not, may not be the, the reason why I random can, can't. I mean, the reason I why fear can get in certain doors. It's okay, you don't have to carry me. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna make like a reassuring whistle and then just tell him to get on and like point at my shoulders. Hold on, I've got. Right. So uh, I've got a pack full, full of stuff that I can take off and put in there that'll drop like thirty pounds. Well then, I'll just put. Then I'll take the great sword out from the cart. Yeah, the great so sword in the shield. Or I can walk. Whatever. Get on my shoulders. Okay. There's, there's two oxen pulling the cart, right? Two oxen pulling the cart. Yeah, two oxen. Okay. You're, and Chris has got his own horse. I mean, is anybody else going to go buy any horses, or is everybody good with how it is? Kyrus has a horse. I'm fine, mooching. Right. Oh, well, other than that. How many people can fit in the cart is the better question. Uh, the well, cart that's, actually, that's a better question. Yeah. Four. Com comfortably fit four. All right, so then Anton, Kriv, Vanny, and Aether. Yes. Or or Fear can go in and Vanny can ride on her hyena since she <laughs> says she mounted it. I, oh, I well, yeah. <laughs> if, she did, if she's able to do that. She's Otherwise, I would walk. If, if, I would walk if no if there's a not an open spot. And then but it seems like there is, so... And then our strength-based um, party members can pull the cart. The, so the carts are being I, pulled by animals. We don't, why would you treat animals this way? This is terrible. Make the people do it. I am a human I'm, priest. I'm willing to try, I'm willing to try and pull the post, horse. I mean, pull the cart. Very short. Very short, five foot four. Um, a measly 115 pounds. Not very big at all. Only a five foot four. Blue eyes. Oh, and all of, an olive skin. But I'm 45 years old, so I've got um, mostly gray hair, and I've got a bald spot in the middle, and I've got, and I've got, and what little color my hair has is this dark, deep red, but most of it's gray. And I mean, I've got this this uh, armor on, this uh, chainmail on, that is almost too big and too heavy for me to even carry around, and it seems like you know. Every move I make is a little bit of uh, labored. <gasps> oh shit, man, born to be evil. Uh, just a quick question: Would Steamy know about the current Dragonborn like colors, chromatic and uh, like metallic? Um, Would I have to make like an intelligence roll or something? Give me a history. Give me a history roll. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nine. I too I, would like to make one of those rolls. Yeah, Stevie, you need to turn off your uh, automatic advantage. Yes! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Wow, an 18 in front. Um, I was going to say make an Arcana check, but that'll do you just fine. Yes, you know. I mean, they're, the, they're the same role, so. Where is that, Anton? Uh, I, it's in your gearbox and your settings on your page. I recommend selecting <laughs> Toggle. You're welcome to leave it on as well. Um, if you don't have advantage or disadvantage, I will just use the first roll. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm just going to use the first roll, but I don't, you I don't also, see that. You can also set it up to where it will ask you if you want to roll for it, and it's not every time you roll. Right. And it will ask you if you want to do a whisper roll. Yeah, that too. I use toggle myself. So. I don't know how to do it. I just... I just did that for uh, for seeing if I could do it, but I don't know how to toggle Wait, that. How do you turn off auto advantage? Query advantage or never roll advantage, advantage toggle uh, and curious. Oh, right. I I use toggle <clears throat> myself. The query would ask you every time you click a roll, it's going to ask you advantage or not, or disadvantage. Yeah, let me let me give it a test real quick. Oh, I see. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, I'm going to give it a test roll quickly as well. 
just testing to see what it looks like when I do it. Um, All right, it works. <laughs> but yeah, I made a. Uh, so I understand that his skill color infers evil dragon. Scratching your mic there, fear. Ah, no, I moved my laptop. Sorry. Ben, can you hear us? Yes, I can. All right. Uh, did you hear what uh, Aether said? I did not. <laughs> so, do I understand that he is innately evil? Oh, um, he, well, he's not innately evil uh, as a red dragonborn. However, you you do know that red dragons are typically evil. Uh, um, <clears throat> he is also a. Your, your history check also tells you. As a paladin of Bahamut, the lawful good deity of dragons, he is unlikely to be evil himself, despite what his skin may say. I turned to him. I, I turned to him and asked, This is quite strange. Your scales are red, but you don't seem that evil to me. Um, what are the rest of the descriptions of everybody? Uh, Vinny Black is <laughs> Vinny is a three foot one halfling, green eyes, Aww. very dark tan. Oh, really? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Were, for your tan, were you like originally uh, like white, or were you like it's dark tan skin because you know it's just. It's just your skin tone. Honestly, At, she might not remember because she's been out just in the desert. out in the sun all, all the time. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, black hair. Like jet black yeah. or kind of like the grayish black. Jet black. Jet black. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Dark skin, jet black, little halfling. Cool. All right. So you uh, set out. Oh, is, it, is there any other descriptions that we missed? Uh, yeah, I just like do a short description of my character. Yeah, go for it. Uh, Aether is a uh, female high elf. This has just been, you know, announced again. Uh, roughly five foot eight, pale blonde hair. Uh, just imagine that everything she does includes magic. So innate mage hand to carry things and conjuration school. So creating mystical objects in her hand to emphasize what she says. If she's talking about a sword or something, there is a sword in her hand. Like a minor illusion of the sword? A conjuration that can actually create an object. Oh, but the, okay. Cool. All right, so have we decided who's getting in the cart? I am. All right, so that's Aether. Kriv. I'm helping I'm ride in the car. All right, Claire can fear. So, so I got I got all my equipment back on me then. And so, and Kyrus, you're on a horse, correct? Yeah, I'm just on my horse. All right, and Benny, I'm assuming you're on your hiking. <laughs> yeah, I am. All right, and I'm I'm walking beside the cart. Dude, there's enough space for so yeah. I guess I get in the cart last because there's still space. Can't but carry. I don't know. How, I don't know how to drive a freaking cart, though. So we have a I think the go farmer is going to do it. Uh, is the farmer still drawing the cart, or are we buying the cart off the farmer? No, the yeah. farmer's still driving. He's heading that way, anyways. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Good. Because yeah. I don't know how to drive the cart. He he'll take you about um, a day and a half of the way. 
Okay. All right. So about halfway there before he has Ooh. to turn off a different direction. You, you travel, um, well, let's see. Somebody roll me a D12. I'll do it. <coughs> oh, okay. Right. Uh, <laughs> I should I should have rolled it. <laughs> you travel you travel uneventfully for um, about a day. Becomes the sun the sun. Well, you're starting out in the mid afternoon, so you travel uh, uh, with no event for a good six hours before it becomes time that you have to camp. Any <clears throat> any particular manner in which you guys would like to camp? No, not really. Does anybody else? <coughs> I don't need to camp. I don't need sleep. And yeah. Uh, Anubis and I will take first watch. What? <laughs> what? Yes. Yes. Um, um, um. Can I ask your character what the namesake is? From this world. <laughs> no Sounded cool. Uh, we were riding in the cart for the entirety of that day's journey, yeah. right? Uh, we're, we're camping I would, right now. I would like to, I would like to have taken my long rest while I was riding in the cart and spend the whole night awake. Oh, so you and Vanny are, you're you're going to be watch all night in Vanny's first rotation. Okay. Cool. Well, uh, that's now, what I'm assuming. Okay, so I'll be second. Yeah, the, each knight has two watches typically. <clears throat> so who's who's first watch and who's second watch? I'm second. Vanny, okay. Vanny, and Fear are first. Vanny and Fear. Okay. I don't need to sleep except for four hours of subconscious meditation, so I can. Same. Watch. I would also like to nominate myself for watch. We can't. We can't have five people watching. Yeah, we can. Shut up. I'm asleep. I'm, I'm gonna sleep. Okay. I'm gonna pray and sleep. So, Got it. pray, meditate, sleep. First watch is is uh, Vanny and Fear. Second watch is you said is it Steamy and Karis? I'm assuming. Okay. Yeah, that works. I mean, Aether might be up. Yeah, I'll, right. I'll be up except for those four hours I have to meditate. Right. And Steamy doesn't need to sleep at all. He just is completely aware, but has to be. I, I can I go in I can go in eight, but I but I it's technically he stay, stays aware of his surroundings, just can't move. Hibernates, yeah. yeah. If anybody you know touches the mouse or the keyboard, he wakes up. Um, <laughs> I don't also occasionally like to use my vulnerable awareness. Um, I just have to concentrate for one minute. I can tell if there's any humanoids within five miles of us. What's as your well as numbers and general direction. Yeah, what's what's your favorite enemy, by the way? I should I know I know Vani's, but I don't know yours. <laughs> if you say elves, I'm lighting you on fire. He just <laughs> has to say humanoid. Elves. Um, <laughs> uh, favorite enemy has to be more specific than humanoid. Somebody talking over Kyrus. Say that again, Kyrus. Oh, all right. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um. You notice, well, first of all, there's there's your group, um, and it's what's the what's the radius? Five miles. Five miles. Five miles. <coughs> is my mic um, kind of low from you guys? Or, huh? Is my mic not not very well? It's kind of echoey. Um, it, it, and there's some background. It kind of sounds like you have like a fan blowing into it, but other than that, it's yeah. it's pretty alright. I'll try to You're adjust. Under, it. Yeah, that's much better. That's much better. That's oh, much better. Okay. I had a couple different um, settings, so I was using one that picked up less because it was too out earlier, so I just had to change that over. Perfect. So Anton is casting alarm for the long rest that we're taking, apparently? On okay. your back? Oh, on your bag. Okay. Um, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Smart move there. Um, so you, within five miles... You notice a, uh, there's a similar cart, um, what, you, what you assume is a similar cart, 
two humanoids moving at about this, your same pace, five miles ahead of you, roughly, just on the edge, and they, they kind of disappear um, briefly after as they leave the radius, but they seem to have just left earlier and are going in the same direction. But you don't notice anyone else uh, opposed to the humanoids that you would have sensed back in the city, but you're more than five uh, five hours out. Uh, are, is he doing this on his watch, or is he doing this at the very start? Um, Kyrus? Kyrus? There's no cooldown on it, so I'll just do it occasionally. All right. Okay. Um, we have someone else to keep watch while I concentrate anyway, so that's not a big deal. Perfect. All right. Um, someone roll me... Let's get uh, first watch. Someone on the first watch, roll me a d12. And same with the second watch. Okay. Uh... All right, so the, the, the night passes uh, with no event. Morning comes. All right. Oh, all right. And you're awake. I I would like to I would like to touch uh, Anton's bag right before he wakes up, and I would like to wake him up with his alarm. <laughs> Okay, so... Uh, um, Anton, you're muted, you're muted. <laughs> to arms, yeah. everybody, to arms! Was it audible? Uh, it's, it's only to him, and it sounds like a silent bell. It sounds like a bell to him. And it wakes no, up. It's, it's a ping. You can it's choose between a mental or an audible. Oh, it's in choose. my head. In your oh, head? So. Okay. So Anton wakes up, I, calling I for everyone to arms. To arms! To arms! Intruders! Since I don't know, I didn't know that this was going to happen, I'm going to draw my sword and my eye is going to go red. Uh, yeah, I'll draw my weapons. Uh, at, <laughs> at that well, point, I'll draw my probably... Red. Have I essentially woken up whoever was asleep uh, with, with Anton's yelling? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, my question is, do I see him messing with my bag after I start to... Awake and as, soon, as soon as you started yelling, I drew my sword and my eye went red. Because um, I didn't understand what, what, what I did. I'm drawing my session. sword. Uh, bow, knock, half <laughs> drawn. <laughs> yes, he clearly, uh, you can see, like, as you, as you wake up, he kind of drops the bag and draws his sword, surprised. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Everybody go back. back. See me. I'm going to look at him confused. Why are you messing with my things? I will stare at him. I'm going to I'm just going to keep staring at him confused because I don't know what what he what he means by what am I touching his things for? See me. The farmer we talked about is driving the wagon, very wide-eyed, looks at you and what's going on? Is everything okay? I I'm I'm are sorry, sir. I'm it was a false alarm. I'm sorry. Um it was a misunderstanding and I oh, glare at me like really I'm gonna I'm gonna lower my head. My eyes gonna go back from red to blue, and I'm just gonna lower my head and let out like a very sad whistle sound. Like, uh, uh, are you all ready to to continue on? I assume you're you're continuing on this direction. Yeah, I, I think I think breakfast is in order first, sir. But after that, I have believe at, at some point, I would like to go over and sleight of hand fist bump Steamy and tell him good job, buddy. Okay. Good day. Uh, I, re I receive it. Wait, no. Does he have to roll a sleight of hand so no, no one sees it? No. All right. So I, re I receive it under my arm, but I don't. But I still don't know why I received it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I'm just giving a bump, and I was like, oh, cool. I'll just, like, give you a thumbs up and smile. And I'm going to look at him. I'm going to look at him confused after he's given me the fist bump after, when it, while he's smiling at me with a thumbs up. <laughs> Here, you, you need to teach Steamy not to mess with him. He was trying to rummage through my bag, and that's what caused that all that uh, ruckus there. Um, I apologize for waking everybody up, but uh, I thought it was not to mess with other people's things. Um, While they're off talking together, I'm chasing down a butterfly. That's the best way to learn about a person is to mess with their things. 
So yeah, breakfast, breakfast goes fairly uneventfully. Um, you hope Steamy's learned his uh, his his lesson. You notice Kyrus hopping on his on his horse and uh, starts to play a small ditty. While he's playing on his flute, I'm trying to match it with my whistle, but doing horribly so because a whistle doesn't make many vo many voice ranges. <laughs> All right. Um, probably. So, since, since I'm on the cart, I'm going to read stuff. Probably during breakfast, I was just running through commands with Anubis with Food, bits of food. That's such Being a cool name. That is so cool. <laughs> All right. Nothing oh, to do with the action, just the name. Just the name. <laughs> you, should, you should also have access to, I did make a character sheet for uh, for Anubis. Yeah, I, I'm okay. looking at it. Cool. There's a character sheet. Yeah. So awesome. If, um, let's see, I'm going to make one now. For I don't know, um, Kairos, your wolf. Wait, what? Kairos has a wolf? Yeah. Has anybody seen the wolf yet? He hasn't mentioned it. <laughs> well, I had to wait until I got back about the giant now because it was a little bit too strong, even though it was like the only flying creature at the same challenge rating as yeah. one. <laughs> it could have been a hawk, like I said. The hawk is a lower difficulty though. It's like half the damage, barely any HP, and will just immediately die. Right. Yeah, but it's got keen sight, bro. It's a really good scout. This has keen hearing, keen smell, actually deals damage, and will immediately die when touched. All right, you got a character sheet for the wolf. Um, okay, so you set off, travel for about half a day, and the farmer turns to you and says, "Well." Uh, I hope I wish you luck and uh, this is this is what I leave you. Appreciate uh, appreciate the company. It's, it's always good to have some, some travelers along. But I'll be heading north from here. Uh, as we as we part ways, I want to give him uh, five silver and say in case that blessing doesn't work out for you. That's oh. reassuring. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. I don't mean to interrupt, but while we're on the trip, I want to I want to point at Anton's book. And then I'm gonna look at him and then see if he understands what I'm trying to say. You're gonna point at my book. No, I'm and just gonna point at your book and then look up at you and see if you understand. You want me to read it to you? <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna shake my I'm gonna shake my I'm gonna shake my head to him and I'm gonna I'm gonna to fear I'm gonna do thieves can't again and I'm gonna I'm gonna say what is this? Because I know, I know it's a book, but what does it mean? Uh, he doesn't understand. Yeah, the message you don't doesn't seem to be to have been received. Yeah. You see, you see, uh, you see me like waving his fingers. No, I'm doing thief scan just to see if. Like, yeah, the like sign what? language for thief scan isn't quite that intricate. It's oh, okay. more purely based for like situations where. Okay, so since fear can't understand, since fear can't <laughs> understand what I'm trying I to say with thief scan. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn my head down and be and then I'm gonna cast minor illusion from my hand, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna have some words pop up and I'm gonna be like, what is the like what is the script what does it mean? It they're well they're they're poems they're prayers. Uh, um, and then I'm gonna cast minor illusion. I'm gonna cast minor illusion again and see, and I'm, he says he said for poems and prayers I'm gonna be like four. Just, just well, for FOR. They're to Paylor, but more specifically to me, they're part of what I need to do. Horatio sent me on a quest to find the Dawn Stars, and he told me the answer would be in these poems. So I'm just I'm, I'm thinking I'm about gonna them, tilt my head in confusion from all this info I'm getting. They're about Paylor, okay, Steamy. He's not. He doesn't <laughs> understand the concept of a god. I I I get it. You know. I woke him, man. I woke him up in a basement, and he hasn't left me alone. Okay. I know, but you know, you can always hope for every soul finds space. You know. I'm not even sure he has a soul. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look at fear and like yeah, I'm gonna look directly at fear and, and my eyes my eyes gonna slightly turn from blue to like a more purpley so in between red red and blue. Hey man, uh, to be perfectly honest, I'm not even 100 percent sure I have a soul. So regardless, while I'm walking beside fear, I'm gonna give him a hug. <laughs> He has the capacity to learn regardless, and so if it does any good, I can at least teach him what the prayers are. If it means nothing to him, that's one thing, but at least he'll know them. And then I go back to reading it aloud. Now to Steamy. <laughs> no matter I'm how gonna, little he I'm gonna cares listen. about it, I'm now reading it. Not, I'm going to listen, but I mean, it's just it's coming, it's coming in one gear, going out the other. I, I, I still happily preach. <laughs> Uh, all right. I've, yeah, I love it. So, um, you are you now for the first time as a group set out on foot, and uh, as as you uh, you travel on the you pass a, a few side roads that seem to lead off to to farms. Um, you seem to you, you the trees become more dense as you push farther into uh, into the what's now becoming a forest and this no no you are you're going this direction from tarwin yeah um uh, you're going yeah <coughs> I may have said west before. I meant east. Oh. oh. Yeah, I would say west. Yeah. Shouldn't we be getting to a mountain range by now? <laughs> <laughs> At this point, you're still about um, about here. Maybe okay. east and west are different in this world. <laughs> Wait, are we looking at a map from the southern hemisphere upside down? No. <laughs> there's, a, there's a compass rose here. Um, okay. Tarwin is the west of um, Bristol. Okay. okay. Gotcha. You're traveling along through the uh, through the woods, and you've you've gotten about the the, the sun is beginning to set as the day goes on, and the, the sky begins to darken when suddenly. Vani and uh, and Kairos pull up short. For the two of you, what do you, what do you mean by pull up short? They just stop, stop walking. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't think I can whisper to people directly, um, but you can both tell that there is something, something ahead. Um, I'm still reading aloud. It was Vani and Kairos, right? Do we have any kind of hint, like a hostile? <coughs> I'm still reading like steamy, so I don't care. Um, or notice. As as soon as do we see them stop? Yeah, you, you notice them stop. Okay, as like, soon as they I'm stop, turn around I to them and step truck. off to the side into the trees and stealth. Okay. Jesus Christ, y'all are getting very good money. Um, is only within thirty feet, I believe. Um. 60 feet. You don't see anything. Um, you get, I'll say you get a vague sense of something not so good ahead on the road, or at least in the direction of the road. Only 60 feet? And it's far enough that it's out of, you know, it's out of your range where you can know specifically, <laughs> but. Right, right. It's ahead, the way you're going. Yes. Right. So, um, okay, fear you roll your stealth. Uh, I'm gonna tap Anton on the shoulder to make him stop, and I'm gonna point at the other people. 
like to see if they're re- like doing stuff. Like I know Vanny and Kyra stopped, and Kriv is holding his amulet, doing some divine sense thing. And Anton, you muted again. <laughs> I, I didn't realize I was doing something. I'm sorry. I didn't realize people were doing things. Um. Okay. All right. Um. Uh, do I sense any humanoids? Sensing. Yeah. I can sense undead up ahead. Um. If there are any. Kairos, you do not. You do not. Um, you sense very faintly, very faintly, one humanoid about a hundred feet ahead. Right. And uh, um, about a about hundred feet ahead. Um, you can't quite see because the trail turns. But uh, Vani, you sense, I believe you know the exact um, number. I have to check this here. Uh, spending one minute, I can sense my favorite enemies within five miles. Uh, their num- I'll know their numbers. Approximately uh, and- 100 feet ahead of you. Mm-hmm. You sense 12, 12 undead. You want um, to <laughs> you want to guess that they are um, of a you would guess they were of a one of the mindless variety, whether it's zombies or skeletons. Mm-hmm. You're not quite sure, but there's uh, twelve of them. Uh, guys, I don't mean to be a baller, but why did we stop? What's going on? I like, I mean, we got a we got a timeline. I. Like, I don't. Jesus. I don't. There's I don't, I don't, I don't, twelve undead ahead of us. Jesus, Kairos, oh. you don't know about the undead, and that's what Vanny just said. You did all that before Vanny told us. <laughs> oh. Okay. okay. No, um, now. Any suggestions, guys? Um, why are we slowing down? Why don't we merely just charge through the undead? We can definitely go and kill them now. Jeez. Well, we don't we even need to stop for that. We could just go through them and go on our merry way. Undead are not commonly fast. I'm sorry, I don't I don't know what are undead? I don't I don't what are undead. Uh and he's forty, right? Like should, would he know anything about undead? Um, you would have, you would have certainly know. Yeah, you, all of you would certainly know of them, as you probably encountered one or two in your um, would I you know, levels one through three. Um, you, I've been asleep yeah. for however many years. Well, you've been with Kairos for at least a little, or with um, with Fear for at least a little bit now. Oh, all right. You know they're oh, not so friendly. You, you want me to be quiet now? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make a loud whistle in agreement. Hush. I'm gonna make a very hushed steamed whistle. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Oh. Oh. All right. Uh, Is it just me or there two grids? There are. um, It's the map grid and then the actual D20 get roll 20 grid. Uh, I tried to line can, as you, best you I can, could. You can, no, you can turn off the roll twenty grid. You could. Uh, Anton, do you but remember how to think, do that? Yeah, I'll I, do that. Yeah, I know how to do it, but I think it gets rid of the snap, though. You, you don't need to have snap. Kind of, if you hold, I'll show you. I'll, I'm going to drag my character onto the screen. If but you, turn if it you off have it on there, you can hold Alt and you can move freely off the snap. But like, obviously, you tell the DM like, "Well, I," and then you can just use the ruler to be like, "Well, I'm going to go this far," or you can hold yeah, Alt and you can in show the settings. The distance. In the settings for the page itself, you just turn off grid. It's super easy. Yeah. There you go. I don't think that, that way we're not tracking two of them. What? I don't think you gave me an icon. Yeah, but we'll see. You need to, yeah, make put, put your icon. Um, I forget the exact. 
Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> I want to drag that over. <laughs> I'll try and drag the icon right onto the map. Uh, Steamy, you're gonna you're gonna want to. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Mine's a little bit big, and I can't resize it. Uh, you, you shouldn't you shouldn't have to resize it. Uh, That's why I did. Uh, I've never yeah. known players to be able to do it. <laughs> uh, whoever has the the full body of whatever that is, I, I can't really tell. But you you what you should do is go and paint and just crop out your head and your shoulders, like I did with my character. Uh, fear your character should. God damn it! Look off the moon. <laughs> I win. You guys are gonna be back up towards the top of the page. Uh, we are on the top of the page, or at least I am. Yeah, Steamy's up there. Uh, we still have some giant tokens. I don't know how. Like, I, I could resize it before when I tested it. I can't do it now for some reason. I've never actually done it as a player. I've always put them in for the I, players, so it's new. I am a little bit too new on this. Um, okay, so the DM should be able to resize all resize all the tokens. Yeah, I am. There we go. Let's see, I don't even know how you apply a token as a <laughs> player. Uh, as your character, uh, click click on your character, go to edit, and there should be a little image for an avatar. Huh? What your yeah, picture avatar does. How do I move it from my character sheet to the map? Though you're on the map right now. You're the giant fear looking dude. <laughs> you have two oh. of them on the map. Yeah. I, I was never aware that the avatar could be the emblem itself. Yep. Now I know. Because well, I was actually get assigned actual emblems that tracked HP and stuff like that. All right. Myself. Uh, fear, you put two of your tokens on, so the DM's just going to remove one. Cool. I'm not sure what I'm doing. So uh, you, do you, see, actually. Yeah, you see other, <laughs> others three? Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, that's what All fear right. looks like normally. <laughs> Yeah. You might want to make them a little smaller. There you go. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, just let's see. So far. By the way, uh, your your character's quality uh, remains the same the closer you zoom in. So it, it'll get it'll look better from what it normally looks like if you're zoomed in. So for Vani, um, do you have a? Let's see. We need to edit. If you go to your character sheet and go to edit. And then actually go to the um, she doesn't have one yet. So if you go to yeah. um, art library and just search, for example, um, it doesn't work like that for players. Yeah, you players can't do that. Open. No, you players can't. Players, post, players can't post players. You go to your journal, edit, and where it shows the avatar, it should say. You, upload or something? Yeah, you can upload it. I literally just googled Tiefling Pirate. Uh, I can look up a Halfling Rogue for Vani right now. Ranger. Ra Ranger, whatever. Close enough. Uh, black hair, right? Yeah. With a hyena. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I'm not going to get We can get an close. easy hyena. <laughs> uh, I have an image. Uh, I'm just going to quickly edit it so it's just the head and not the full body. We have so many characters if we've got two freaking pets as well. <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, actually, from what uh, I know, we don't know about that, so never mind. Just fuck off this and toast this. All right, so. uh, if you want to tell the story while I'm doing this, uh, feel free. Wait, which way's, front? which way's forward? Uh, probably down. Down? Shit, that I'm in the back. Fuck that. I'm next to Steamy just chatting away. Nice. All right, so now I go. Perfect. One. Not what I wanted to do. No wrong initiative now. Uh, well, Jesus, we haven't even done anything. Why is it? All right. We can actually just uh, click on. Yeah, um, cl yeah, click on your what? character. No, no. Before you guys all roll initiative. 
uh, we're gonna have, you're probably gonna have to roll, lo- left click on your character and roll initiative. It should put you in the turn order, <coughs> and rather than the bit, rather than the DM putting it in for you. Or you can do it on your character sheet. Can you do it from your character sheet? Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. Nice. Or <laughs> you can create a macro for it. Macros? What the hell do you think we are? I thought you were a bunch of fucking nerds. You're a nerd. <laughs> um, Aether, you're missing health on your token. What? Um, okay. For, so for, for tokens, um, use red for your hit points and green for your AC. Oh, right. Shouldn't we just tell you? That, that way I can have it there and easy. It's easy to track. Uh, this is for the, the halfling for Vani. Just left click on that, and you should be able to download an image. It was the it was the closest one to a ranger and black hair that I can find in a short amount of time. Is Thanks, your horse you, is your horse your familiar? I mean, your animal, Kairos? Well, then it doesn't have initiative. <laughs> it's up to the DM for if he wants the horse to have initiative or not. Depends on what you're doing with it. Are you dismounting and proceeding on foot? <laughs> uh, so, Vani, well, I, I don't know if you still don't, don't know, but go to edit after you've gotten your image and just drag the image onto avatar and then just drag your character, your, like your, from your character sheet, and just left tr- click drag it onto the board. So, uh, I totally wasn't paying attention. How do I add myself to the initiative? Uh, either roll initiative from your character sheet or left click on your character and do slash uh, roll 1d20. I did roll initiative from my character sheet. Well, it didn't pop up on the board. No, it's, it's in chat and I'm just not on the list. The DM should be able to put you in. Oh. Yeah. Um. Uh, so red is health and the other one is AC? Different. I put the ball right on your token. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, you can change the colors, by the way, as far as the your settings. Kairos, he only gave us the cart for the for the day and a half trip, and then he's taking it back to wherever he's going. Yeah, he turned north. Um, and then. Oh, there you are. <laughs> All right. It's only half a man. Uh, so, oh, someone said only half of something. Half a man. Euro. There we go. Uh, put it back. That, that was the closest ranger I could find in a short time. <clears throat> how, how do I reset? Okay, there we go. The DM resizes it for you. Cool. I found another one for you for later, but not right now. Just so we can get this on the road. <laughs> That's what this session in large part is about, is just kind of getting out the kinks and figuring out the system here. All right. Wait, so we're not allowing kinks in here? No, this is, a, this is definitely a kink shame zone. Dang it, why am I playing a female character then? Well, I mean, to get rid of your kinks. <laughs> While you're playing a girl. Steamy, steamy and um, Fear, what are your bonuses to initiative? Uh, he has plus two, so he's first. Yeah. Okay. So we need to fix that. Um, in your initiative, yeah. In, no, just in your initiative thing, you can put ascending or descending order Yeah. Or to, you on your settings. Yeah. I clicked on for the roll initiative for my character sheet. 
My character initiative didn't pop up on that list. That's uh, she got a 12. Okay. Yeah. Are you rolling again, Kyra? <laughs> oh no, he didn't roll again. God damn it, he goes first. No, no, Kyra, you didn't roll. What do you do? Uh, I have a thing for whoa, Anubis. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute, Kyrus. How do you have a plus six already into uh, dexterity or into Do you have, you have? What do you mean you don't know? What's okay? What's what's your what's your what's your dexterity right now? Three. So then that's that's actually uh, a fourteen instead of a seventeen. Uh, does your initiative say you have plus three? I mean plus six, like on the on your character sheet. Vani, you're twelve. Okay, so uh, where do I go for this? Let's see. I don't know where it's pulling from now. Uh, okay. Um, in the little gear and in your in your character sheet, right beside spells, there should be initiative modifier. What's that modifier? Three. Three. There should be a zero. Here, yeah, your initiative modifier should have there a zero. Go. Okay. There you go. Although it doesn't let me roll it with advantage. Like it's supposed yeah. to. So my oh, roll be you're six. supposed to roll uh, initiative with advantage? Yeah. In that, in that same little gear on the right hand side, it says roll queries. Yeah, I have it. Roll queries, create advantage. It just. Uh, it. Yeah, and it, it'll ask you if you want to roll with advantage, or it should. I think it probably just doesn't have it for initiative because it's not really something that happens. Nobody no. else has it. Yeah, it's an okay. came out today. Yeah. Okay, so has everybody figured out their initiative and their stuff? I have one more. Yeah. For simplicity's yeah. sake, with um one, two, with with the six, seven players that we have. Nine, including um, the two animals. Right. I'm gonna say the animals are gonna go on the players' initiative oh. count. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna ask you about that. I know right. the rules say the animals roll initiative, but that right. seems yeah. like too much trouble. Bit, yeah. For yeah. for simplicity's sake, if we were sitting down pen and paper, we'd probably roll for it. But um, I don't. Sake. I just realized I don't have a a, a token for my uh, raven, so I'm just gonna use this black square. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Cool bird. There you go. I, All right. The majestic b box bird. So is marching order correct? Is that how you guys are? Uh, me and the cleric were in the back at the time. Weren't the yeah. rangers stopped behind us? In front, of, in front of us. I am oh, okay. front of <laughs> here. So I, I know fear slinked into the trees somewhere. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. up in front. Okay. So it is fear's turn first. What do I see? Because I never. Well, if it's first, let's, then he needs to get. Um, so we, we've rolled that. we've rolled initiative, but you guys haven't actually. We've set the initiative just to get all of this dealt with. Combat hasn't started yet, okay. so you're still going along this road. You haven't really gotten to where your tokens are yet. Um, but for simplicity's sake, it's nice to handle it all at the front end and then not have to deal with it as we have stuff happening. Cool. Um, and then here we go. All right. I believe the initiative count is correct. Uh, Kairos, Akriv, what's your um, initiative modifier? I'm sorry? Uh, what, what's Kriv's initiative modifier? What's your dex modifier? Three. Al? It was a three, I believe, wasn't it? All right. So then your, your initiative wrong is wrong again. It says you only have a plus two. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm not saying what you rolled is wrong. I'm just saying it's it's reading incorrectly on roll twenty. Um, oh, it's for Fender. Okay. okay, Kriv. Yeah, Kriv has an one plus one initiative. <laughs> so yeah, we got this right. Um, all right, excellent. So as you're moving forward, you see the first thing you see is a is a shambling mass of flesh. Um, Standing relatively still, uh, apparently waiting something, waiting for something, but facing away from you. Uh, is fear the only one that sees this? Uh, you guys can all 
see this. It's pretty. I'm gonna I'm gonna reveal here. Pretty straightforward down the path. Um, I just need to get the turn order out of the way so I can switch here. Uh, reveal. You guys can currently only see to here, right? Uh, where um, is here? Make a see, ping. I can see sixty feet. Yeah. yeah. We, uh, there we go. Uh, how are you guys? How are you guys doing the ping again? Uh, you just hold. hold click and hold. All right, there we go. Thank you. Okay, so you see what uh, what you clearly know to be a <clears throat> run of the mill zombie facing away from you. A um, little bit of flesh falling off. It's it seems to have been standing where it's standing for at least a few hours, not really moving. As you as you pull around the the rest of the the turn, you see more and more and until you can see a tree that has fallen down to crush the front front of a cart <laughs> and a uh, giant fear in the background. <laughs> it's just a mosaic on the ground. Um, I instantly want to want to see from my distance if it's the cart we're looking for. If they've got like uh, bottles of. Well, what I presume is holy water, or if there's any bodies. I don't, I don't think he said it was a cart. I think he was just saying it's a tree on the road. No, it's a cart. The tree oh, crushed sorry, the sorry. front of a cart, yeah. or it hit the front of a cart. The cart, however, is made is pretty made of pretty sturdy metal, and um, there is currently a horde of zombies clawing at it, and you can see bits of hand and tooth that have just fallen off as they uh, hopelessly scrape at this. Um, cart. I'm, I'm looking to see if there's any hint that this is the cart we were actually supposed to be protecting. It's a little too far. <laughs> you can roll a perception. Um, it's not his turn, though. But at this point, it's we're still we still haven't started combat yet. All right, just making sure. Um, okay, I'm definitely looking to see if this is supposed to be like my brothers. That is what we're defending this. Um. This yeah. You, you can't tell. Um. Kyrus, you, from when you did your um, ranger sense, I forget the term for it, um, you definitely, as you approach, you know that the, the faint life sign you got was from inside the cart. The front is crumpled, but it's, it's made of metal, so the door is still jammed shut. So, so the zombies haven't like, noticed right? you yet. So it's like a wagon. Yeah, it's like um, I think like a stagecoach or not stagecoach. Okay. A, um, a almost like a palanquin on wheels. It's almost like a big uh, metal box with some storage, like a covered stagecoach. The horses, uh, if there were horses, they've run off. Uh, ben, can yes. I ca can I cast since we're on a we're not in combat currently, right? Mm -hmm. I'd like to cast expeditious retreat. Okay. I'm just gonna one second. Oops. How many spell slots do you have total? Do I have. Like two? I have. I have three right now. I think. Okay. Three or two. I'll, I'll check right now. Okay. I too would like to cast a spell real quick. Okay. I'd like to cast mage armor, of which I have prepared. Okay. I have. I have two. I have two. Sorry. So I have one more spell. Yeah, they, st they, they still are completely wrapped up in the uh, uh, attack on the cart. Can I move to, like, here-ish? If, if we're going to start movement now that you can now that you can see them, then we then we start into the combat. You would get a surprise round, but yes. What if he oh. did it stealthily? Yeah. Uh, that's... Um, once you've seen them, I'll, I'll give you, you know, one, one round of spells but you're, you're essentially you know there's something there you're moving up you see it well and i'm trying combat to, starts i'm trying to get in range so i can cast a spell right so um who do i think is the weakest in terms of so AC? yeah i guess i'll wait until we're ready for combat to start and then i'll move and cast my spell yeah so this <laughs> is this is where you guys reach 
Um, Vanny, you look the smallest. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give you shield of faith. This is where you you guys get to as you're walking up and trying to see what all is there, and as you're doing that, you can cast a couple spells. Once you see it, now we're in the um, now we're starting the um, surprise round. So you guys all have a surprise round. They don't notice you. Okay. Um, any other spells that you guys want to have cast before? Does that mean we all there? get a turn before yes. the? Okay. Yes. So. So this is a surprise, and then it's our turn. Just, right. just make All right, so then I am going to do something incredibly stupid. <laughs> I am going to, since since I've cast my spell, correct? Yes. I'm going to, uh, what's my speed from here? Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to dash in right to here. And, oh wait, no, 60, right? So let me just, from here. 60 with a dash and my movement and uh -huh. see if I, and make a lot and make a loud whistle noise line up with line yourself up with the grid uh, i think you have alt i think it's hold alt and drag to oh sorry wrong, wrong button not snap yeah there you go well it's because you turn snap off but well i mean sh shouldn't you be able to just you know if someone's far away or like off the grid like this, like, shouldn't you just be able? Oh, I only got to move five feet. This way, it just allows freedom of motion. <laughs> um, <laughs> you want to? I mean, for for just for game mechanics, you want to you want to stay on the um, whatever the DM says. Yeah, on on the grid. All right. Right. And I've I've dashed in there with my with just my movement and my bonus action. Okay. Well. And then, your action. No, my bonus action. With Expeditious Retreat, I can use a DAS action right. on my bonus. Right, so, so for your action? For my action, I'm blowing a whistle as loud as I can to see if they all notice me. I want them to look at me and, and not the and not the other party. Okay. Well, your action would have been casting Expeditious Retreat. No, no, I cast that before. Oh, okay. Before and then she cast on the way over here because it lasts a while. Well, then when he blows past me, I want to cast Fireball at this zombie right here. Okay. This one here. Uh, yeah. Let me get back to where I can ping this guy. <coughs> one more time. That one. All right. Fear raises his hand and a shot of fire streaks out towards the, the closest zombie. All right, that'll hit. Um, Fireball shouldn't have a save. Yeah, I don't know why that's there. Uh, no, you should the be able to turn that off. Yeah. The zombie gets uh, gets a little bit scorched, but doesn't look... He looks angry, if anything. Doesn't look too upset by it. More annoyed. As, as much as zombies can, uh, can be annoyed. Speaking of which... Um, uh, wait, 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 wait. Would he get a since this is a surprise round, correct? Yeah, yes. well, I get no, I don't get sneak attack on my yeah, spell. No, not, not, not sneak attack, but wouldn't you get advantage because it's a surprise? You get you get advantage on sneaking up on someone, mm -hmm. yeah. So, you get advantage on that. So, roll, roll your dice again, and see if you get a crit. Roll a d20. Oh, nope. no, all right. Oh. It's it's still five damage. Yeah, I was gonna say, but it didn't have the saving throw that time. Good. All right, uh, is that it from here? Can I use my movement to move over here into the trees and my bonus action to hide? Um, yes. Cool. Roll your roll yourself. All right. You think you're really stinky. Yeah. <laughs> um, move yourself into the to where you're moving, and uh, that's Kyrus now. Okay. Um, I'll slide forward a little bit. So yeah, that's good. And then I am going to shoot at this guy with my longbow. Which guy? Could you ping it? Oh wow, the guy way in the back. 
Yeah. So he's that guy's actually going to have uh, total cover as they're he's standing behind the cart. Oh, sorry, I wasn't thinking about how tall the cart would be. Yeah. Um, uh, about this guy. Yeah. Then. Let me do this just so, just to make it easier for you. Um. There's our cart. Okay. I mean, uh, I'm 100 feet in the air, so I would be able to shoot over a little bit, but I'm going to go up these paths on cover. Sorry, if you're up in the air, he'd have half cover. Half cover? Is that plus two days AC for half cover? No, that's partial. Um, half cover is plus five, isn't it? Oh, no, that's three That's three covers. Uh, let's see. Cover. I think cover goes half cover, three quarters cover, and then full cover. Half so, cover is plus two, three quarters plus five, total cover. Uh, that, might be, that might be helpful to look at if you ever need to reference it. <clears throat> so we go to the plus two to his AC then? Uh, yeah, he's, he's got half cover. Right. Oh, huh, huh. Oops, that was an accident. It's not my. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> and Anton beats himself over the head because he's not near anything else. I, I don't know. I don't even have it prepared, so I can't even cast that. It was an accident. Oh wow, twenty-one. Um, All right. Fuck? How do you plus hit. seven? Um, three for dex, two for proficiency, and two for weapon style, fighting style. Oh, fighting style. Yeah, archery. Sorry. Yeah. Um, sorry, I didn't roll damage. Let me. I think I fixed it. So let me just redo that. And so ten damage. Okay. And then uh, that was that was on this guy. Or yeah, the one in the back. Yeah, this one here. And then I already prepped this spell before, but let me go ahead and redo it. Just so we have it on top of us right now. Um, right. Okay. I saw that. Um, and so. So everyone in this box will have to make a deck saving throw. Right. Okay. Uh, I guess that would be off of my spell casting. Um. Yes. What's Not your uh, DC? Oh, sorry. Let me check real quick. I didn't even think to look. I think Rangers or Wisdom modifiers would be. My wisdom is um three. Eight plus proficiency <clears throat> bonus plus wisdom. Oh, my wisdom is plus two. All right. So, what, and your proficiency is plus two. So, AC is, is DC is twelve. DC is twelve. Okay. So, um, one will make it, and the other two will certainly not. Actually, one might miss. Uh, uh, four. One, let's see. The target attack in each creature within five. Yes. <laughs> so, um, does it include the one hit? Yes. Really? Yes. Okay. So that's one more. So. All right, they all fail. You want to be time piercing? Yes. That that will be with their their whopping minus two to, to deck saves. Wow. That, that one damage to all of them. Oh man. Ooh. Okay. That's oh. They have as much damage on it. So. <laughs> I don't think you can reduce below one though. So. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I, guess, I thought I got rounded up actually. So. Alright. All right. Um I'll give a short roll and say, how are you rolling differently? Well. Huh? Well he's rolling different from everyone like from everyone else. It's because he's like, not using his uh sheet. He's, he's <laughs> typing it. Yeah, if you if you roll um with double brackets, it uh, it just rolls in a box like that. Oh, he's like, special. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I'll leave Fenrir right here. Okay. We've got Anubis and Fenrir. Wow. Loki's <laughs> dog, right? Fenris. It's half and half from each. <laughs> and then I'm done. Um, I believe that's Loki's child. Yeah, I'm still a dog. Along with all the other fucking weird animals that he's made with his man vagina. 
<laughs> right. Imagine I know. So whose turn is it next? Uh, that'd be Crip. If you dash, you can't take another action, so yeah. All right. They don't get a turn. Um, let's see. Let me. All right, that brings it to Vani. All righty then. Uh... Move up to there, and I'm gonna hail of thorns on that person there. Okay. Uh, so, bonus action to cast hail of thorns. The middle one on that row. Yeah. Okay. One second. I'm clicking on it and it's not doing anything. Um. Uh, oh. There we go. Mm, on the roll. <sighs> okay. Well, I know what the hail thorns does. So um, that is cer certainly going to hit as well. Mhm. Mm um. For nine hundred dollars. All right. Okay. That's for my bowl. All right. And, and then it hits three, correct? Yes. All right. So, um, and what your DC is? Same as a uh, Karis okay. uh, twelve. So. One will actually save, or two will actually save, but one will take the the one d ten. Uh, takes half damage. <laughs> takes half damage on fail. Okay. Uh, on uh, say success. On save. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. Roll your damage. Oh, you did. I, I yeah. Did. Oh, max damage too. Okay. You see the rest of you see the two uh, two archers, two rangers step out. Both fire arrows that explode into a hail of thorns. One of those zombies is looking pretty darn rough. Uh, the others are again just a little bit angry. Four, five, six, seven, seven. And, and I'm gonna. Uh, oh, go ahead. I'm gonna have um, Anubis run up. So there. <laughs> this. What what speed is he actually? Forty. Forty. I think that's a little bit more back there. <laughs> All right. And that's it. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> That brings us to Anton. Hmm. Oh wait, I can't even move that far. 
Are you in? Are you slowed by your armor? Yep. I okay. move, I move there as a, da- as a as a dash, and that's my turn. All right. Aether. <clears throat> How obscured are these targets? If I walk, if I just try to shoot a firebolt through them, through all that, all my allies. Um. Oh, you can you can do that with no penalty, I believe. Um. I would say this guy with an ally right in front of him would have um, partial cover, would have half cover. How about uh, this hulking thing right here? This guy would be fine because everybody else can get out of the way. Like they can lean to the side, stand out of the way. I raise my staff forward and I launch a uh, firebolt. Didn't roll damage for some reason. Oh, there we go. DM uh, left the, the game for some reason, so we'll just wait for him to get back. All right. What so happened, fire. Um, <laughs> I hit back and went back to the uh, the main page. Um, all right. We saw everything set. Firebolt towards this one. Did I miss the roll? Got it. That hits for a whopping one point of fire damage. Nice. His, uh, his, you burn off his ear. It falls to the ground. <coughs> he turns and is suddenly aware that there's a whole lot of people here who weren't there a second ago. And now the surprise round is over. Ah, thank you. Um, I don't think anyone has notes. I do. That are on your character sheet that are meant to be private. Oh, yeah. No. I think uh, it's. I think it's best if we like don't know each other's things, anyways. Like we just we can just say it out loud. Like the only oh, you hit me. I have eighteen AC. The only thing that is shown to the other parties. Is whatever's on your avatar page. Ah. Oh, so like, a bi- so like a bio? Right. The bio, the avatar, yeah. That's the only thing that's shown to the party. Yeah. On I guess. Yeah. And it's the bio that you have to, have to put onto that section. If you put the bio on your okay. actual character page, it doesn't show. Okay. All right. You've got to do it on the avatar page of your character. Right. Steamy, you're up. All right, so now they they're able to react and stuff, correct? Yes, this is right, the so then, round. However, you you do have your you go first. All right, so with with a free action, I'm gonna put my great sword away and pull out my shield and pull up my arm crossbow. Okay. That just comes out of my arm, which is sick, and I'm gonna fire at this one here. Okay. Which you didn't you never told me what you picked. You are you is it the five or is it the standard? Uh, the what? Are you taking the five shots? The f- five shots we would go for a minute. Okay. okay. And I'm going to be attacking that one right there. Okay. All right, so... Uh, it's a whopping 12. Does it hit it? Well, zombies are... They're they're pretty, ju- pretty much just hunks of meat, and uh, they're not really wearing any armor, so you land a solid thunk nice. into... Zombie's shoulder. Three damage. Is the middle one? He said. Uh, yeah, the middle one. Because okay. I know that's the one that was hurt. Yeah, it's it's, it's uh, wavering. But your arrow takes a good chunk of its shoulder off. Uh, to roll damage just like that, after you've rolled your thing, you can press R. You can press your items thing, like firebolt or arm crossbow, which is right under your current roll, and that'll roll the damage. That way you don't roll and have the damage automatically. All right, so I still have my bonus action and my movement, so I'm going to use a bonus action to dash again, and I'm going to go in this direction for 15, all the way over here, and then I'm going to go this direction. Oh, uh, make, make sure you line yourself up real quick. Yep, shit, wrong button. Yeah. And then I'm going to okay. move here for uh, 11. And now I'm sh- I'm shoulder siding beside the the paladin. As you step away, the zombie swings an arm at you, 
As a reaction, uh, I'm gonna wait. No, yeah. As a reaction, I'm gonna use shield and get plus five to my AC. Okay. Um, what's your AC? Uh, twenty three now. All right. Well, the 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 uh, zombie swings his arm at you. It hits the uh, the magical shield that forms, uh, and you are safe. <laughs> Damn it, Steamy! You moved right where I was gonna move. First come, first serve. Is that your turn? You mean whistle? Uh, yeah, that's my turn. <laughs> All right, fear. First whistle, yeah. second whistle. Uh, I want to move to right there. So, oh, oh, wrong button. Yeah. I mean, I still have movement. I could have moved to the other side, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, I want to cast. Yeah, that's within range. So I want to cast Ice Knife, or yeah, Ice Knife on mm -hmm. that dude. All right. Roll your uh, your attack, and I'll roll my saves. Someone's phone going off. Hello. Hi. What? Wait, can you guys hear me? Oh yeah. yeah. What the heck? Uh, there needs to be an attack roll there. We've been too. hearing you this whole time. You're typing. Hold on. Yes. So you yeah you want to set the oh yeah. Okay, I see how it goes. So he he rolled a three for attacking. Plus no, the three, the three is his damage is his piercing damage. The eleven is no. his cold. Oh, I see. The, the roll, roll under yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so that's that's my, not going to hit. Uh, it's a plus uh, five. But it's plus my spell save, which is four, so it's a seven. Oh. And regardless of whether or not it hits, they still all have to make the saving throw. Right. So your what's your spell attack? Proficiency four. plus your in. Bonus? It should be a seven, not a three. Right. Um, okay, so the seven, unfortunately a seven barely misses the zombie. It kind of leans forward to look at the ground and look at its hand that's fallen off, and the, uh, the ice knife slams into the side of the cart, exploding outwards to the other to hit all three of them. Um, or 11 cold. And it's saved for no damage. Um, what and your DC is twelve. Twelve. Okay. What kind of save is it? Dexterity. Dex okay. Um, again, they are not the best at that. Um, so you have you're gonna have one succeed and two fail. Um, the the middle one is going to um, fail the save and that the the zombie that you targeted while it ducked out of the way of the knife. As the knife explodes, it seems to crystallize, fall over, and shatter. You can see a couple scraps lying around, but... First blood! It is gone. Nice. Um, the other two... One takes... The one in the back takes 11, and the one in the front takes none. All right. That brings it, us to, uh, to Kairos. Sorry, misplacing my order. All right, so I am going to fly forward. Um, how, how high up are you? 100 feet. Okay. Does this guy still have basically full cover, half cover from me? Am I high enough that it's negligible with the cart? He'll get, he's like climbing on the cart at the moment. Um, so he'll still have plus two to AC. Okay, that's fine. So I will do another longbow, and I have advantage. No hail thorns. Ah, oh, crap! Yeah, I was supposed to. Okay. Um, do you still want to let me do it, or? Um, yeah. For now, you, it's brand new characters. You guys are getting used to it. That's fine. Sorry, I got distracted. My phone was leaving. So yeah. why? Okay. Um, it's one of those things like I'll remind you guys the first couple times moving your hunter's mark, that sort of thing, but. Once you're used to the characters, then yeah, that's good. Okay. All right, and then it'll be um, fifteen years, AC. 
What's the what's the uh, the grayed out number? Is that the original roll or is the fifteen the original roll? Um, it's advantage, so the thirteen is like the first roll. The, the gray, okay, so the grayed out is the the first roll. Okay. Um, what's giving you the? Do you have advantage or no? Yeah, I do. Um, I have a feat that on the first turn of combat, I'm assuming surprise round doesn't count. Right. Um, I get advantage on anyone that hasn't acted yet. Perfect. All right. Well, both both would have hit, um, and that'll be another nine. Yeah. Uh, the this zombie looking pretty rough. Its head is missing. Um, it's finally started to notice you just in time to start falling apart. Still barely holding together. And I'll roll for piercing damage for the end of thorns. It'll be three to anyone who um, fails a DC of twelve again. All right, we're gonna do this in in um, order here. So. This guy rolled the four. This guy rolled the nine, uh, which does mean that the uh, the one guy it's half damage on half damage half on half damage. So even then, he's got he's got. Um, do we round up or down? I'm gonna say. Um, it's usually down for damage. Yeah, I'm gonna say he's got one. Uh, one hit point left. The rest. Are going to take the full. Okay, um, so I'm not casting again. I just want to throw this out here and make sure I fixed it. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now it has my DC and how much damage it is. Beautiful. Um, all right, so after that, I'll whistle for Fenrir to move in. The diagonal kind of throws off the actual distance. I should be able to move there. And then attack. Okay. So bite. And advantage to attack tactics. Mm hmm So that'll um, that'll certainly hit. Get the mouthful of uh, of zombie. And 12 damage. Alright. Zombie is not happy with that at all. And there's Criff. You are up. Um, there we are, first crit. Is there anything that would give you advantage? Yeah. Um, no. I don't see it, but you do hit with the 11 because zombies, again, it tries to dodge out of the way and dodges right into the Warhammer. Um, roll your damage. Click the name. Yeah. Oh, no. In no. actual chat, you click where it says Warhammer. There we go. Um, all right. <laughs> Seven plus five. You rolled it twice for some reason. Oh, it's for the crit. Yeah, it's rolling for the crit. Um, okay. So. Let's do this. You're here. Yeah, okay. All right, well. The uh, the seven is enough. Your your warhammer meets the uh, the zombie directly on the face and uh, crumples it, splats a little bit on uh, on Steamy, but he doesn't seem to mind. I'm sorry, Steamy. You get a little bit of uh, zombie splatted on you. But, yeah, I don't uh, care. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I've spilt worse on him. No, you haven't. <laughs> And I just deleted the zombie that I tied to the initiative chain, um, but they I do remember that they went next. So I'm going to put yeah, the initiative. Um, come on. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to add... Um, how do I add a... Oh, here we go, custom label. That way, when I delete my zombies, 
No mitä puoli? And they were here. All right, so all the zombies now are very, very aware as you've just slaughtered multiple of their companions and they turn to face you very displeased. The first Love one is the going sound to, effect. The first one is going to move right up to our... Uh, oh, wait, you're in the air, aren't you? Yep. Um, I'm going to move... Under you, I'm just going to move them first because time. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, I need to do. This one, the closest. Oh, this one here. Certainly, we'll move here. This guy. And the rest are going to dash 